Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will discuss how to divide three fractions. Last time, we have uploaded how to divide fractions, mixed numbers, and whole numbers, but yung given natin done are only two fractions, two mixed numbers. So this time, uh, we need to give chance na discuss natin yung mga requested topic ng ating mga viewers. Again, shout out po sa inyong lahat. So we have here divide 3 over 4 divided by 9 over 8 divided by 18 over 10. So copying ko muna given natin. We have 3 over 4 divided by 9 over 8 divided by 18 over 10. So what is the basic step? Okay, Magalila, don't, don't worry because this kind of solution or topic is not that difficult for us. So first, you need to copy this one. Your first fraction, you have 3 fourths. And do not forget and always remember that in this kind of given or in dividing 3 fractions, ang pag-work natin or pag-solve natin is from left to right direction. So you have copied 3 over 4, and then you need to change this operation to multiplication. So you have 3 over 4 times, get the reciprocal of 9 over 8, that will give you 8 over 9. And change this operation to multiplication, and after that, get the reciprocal of the last fraction. You have 10 over 18. Again, let me clarify the steps on how to do it. Let me erase this first. Para mas lalo yung maintindihan or matandaan. So, again, if you're dividing three fractions, ang pag-work natin or pag-solve natin is from left to right. Una, copy the first fraction 3 over 4. Then your operation should be changed as multiplication. Get the reciprocal of the second fraction. You have 8 over 9. Then this one, change that to multiplication also. And then get the reciprocal or flip 18 over 10. It, it will become 10 over 18. As you can see, it's all multiplying fractions. So you have 3 times 8 times 10 over 4 times 9 times 18. And then all you need to do is to multiply the numbers. So pag multiply nyo yan, medyo malaki yung numbers guys. Again, if you multiply it manually, makakuha kayo na mas malaki number. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon dito is to reduce the numbers. So, let's have, or let's find something na pwede natin i-reduce. Itong 3, we can eliminate this. Or, pakita natin sa inyo mabuti yung ating mga gagawin. Yung 3 natin, you have 3. Times yung 18 natin, sorry, ito na nga lang gagawin natin dito Yung 3 natin, we can reduce this as 1. Kasi yung 9 natin, ay meron dalawang 3. So, it will become 3. So, ay meron tayong tatlong 3 sa 9. And then, for 8 and 4, eto, we can eliminate this. Magiging 1. Eto, meron tayong dalawang 4. We have 2 fourths two fourths here. So, lagyan natin ay 2. And then, for the 10 and 18, so we can, uh, the two numbers are divisible by 2. So this is 5, this is 9. Okay, as you can see, the numbers are 1, 2, 5, 1, 3, 9. Sila na lang yung multiply natin. Well, those are the numbers that we need to multiply. 1 times 2 is 2 times 5, that will give you 10. And 
your denominator 1 times 3 times 9, that will give you 27. And double check if you can still simplify your fraction. And as I can see, ito din kanyang lowest terms. The correct answer is 10 over 27. So I hope na hindi kayo nalito sa step natin. At natutunan nyo kung paano mag-divide ng tatong fraction. So let's move on with the second example para ma-master nyo ito. So we have here, divide and simplify. 12 over 7 divided by 3 over 2 divided by 10 over 9. So we need to copy the first fraction. You have 12 over 7. Change the operation to multiplication. Get the reciprocal of the second fraction kasi ang movement natin is from left to right. So, you have times 2 over 3. Then this one will be changed to multiplication. Then your third fraction get the reciprocal of it. That will give you 9 over 10. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to multiply the numbers you have 12 times 2 times 9 over 7 times 3 times 10. So as you can see, multiplying 12 to 9 immediately, that will give you a bigger number, same with your denominator. So the target natin ngayon is to simplify the numbers. So I think this one, you 9 and 3. 9 and 3 are both divisible by 3, and their GCF is 3. So we can eliminate this 3 as 1. This is 3. We have 3 3's inside 9. So next thing we need to do is this one. Simplify 12 and 10. Their GCF is 2, so we can eliminate 12 and make it 6. Yung 10, yun is going yung 5. Okay, so the numbers are 6, 2, 3, 7, 1, 5. Multiply them. 6 times 2, that will give you 12 times 3, that is 36. Now, multiply 7, 1, and 7, 1, and 5. 7 times 1 is 7 times 5, that is 35. Now, as you can see, your quotient is an improper fraction so we can consider this as an answer but i want you to convert it into mixed number so you have 36 divided by 35 that is 1 1 times 35 35 subtract that and 1 so we have a remainder 1 meaning the mixed number is 1 and 1 over 35. Paano natin nakuha yan? Ito ay yung iyong whole number. Yung remainder mo yung mismong numerator. Itong divisor mo ay yung denominator. So, that's it. These are the possible answers. Now, I have here an activity where you need to divide and simplify the following. So, I hope na masagutan nyo ito at may apply nyo yung ginawa natin process on how to divide three fractions. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para update ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. At inaasahan ko ang inyong mga sagot sa activity nito sa ating comment section. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook. So, I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So, right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page. And I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.